everybody. I'm going to show you a pen today from a very new brand who is actually very much independent. In fact, they don't sell their pens at all the major online pen stores like where we're used to buy them, but they sell their stuff on Etsy under the name of Mystery House Crafts. And what they provided to me in this box is the, I hope I'm saying this correctly, Tianzi T01. So this is their first pen that they've made and it's, uh, I've taken a peek at it and it's actually quite nice. It has this outer sleeve and it says here on the side, it says the view from without losing body posture exhibition, hand writing us flowing clouds. I'm gonna, that's interesting. It sounds cool. There we go. And here's our pen. And it comes in a plastic sleeve. There's nothing underneath the box here. It was held in place by this elastic. So let's take it out of the sleeve. And they actually have several colors to choose from. This color had really caught my attention out of all the colors they offered. I just thought it looked really beautiful. It's a dark navy blue acrylic. And what they were hoping to design here with this pen was, that's my big giant Great Dane making a lot of noise back there, so don't mind him. So what they were trying to do is create a good, a good fountain pen that rested somewhere in between vintage and modern. So it has modern elements, but then they wanted to go and kind of give the pen some very vintage-like characteristics. So the first thing that jumps out at me for the vintage characteristics would have to be this ring around the bottom of the cap, which kind of has this kind of dotted or filigree patterning around the edge. It kind of looks like a ring, like a piece of jewelry that you would wear, which I think it's actually quite lovely. And there is one thing that's it's very subtle, but right here it says Tianzi right there. It's etched into the metal. And let's see, let's get that clip. The clip is springy, so it, it will easily slip into your pocket or your pen case. Let's take a look at that nib. And from what I understand, their nib is, well, it looks like a Yovo nib, but from what I read, it said that their nib was created in-house. But in the center of it, it does have the Tianzi logo. It has a plastic feed. And the one thing about this pen that is really cool is that it is a piston filling system. It does feel like, yeah, there's quite a, it will hold quite a bit. I can't tell you exactly off the top of my head how much ink it holds, but just by twisting the piston knob and feeling how far it goes down, it will hold quite a bit of ink. So <laughs> I know I'm, I'm magic like that. It's my hidden talent. Like I said, they were looking for a pen that would create a balance. And I do like, one thing I will point out, I do appreciate that the grip section matches the acrylic of the rest of the pen. Let's see if it posts. It does post, though it posts on the, the very end of that piston knob. So when it is posted, it makes kind of, I mean, it's not like super long, it's long-ish, I guess, uh, but it does make it more of a substantial Pen, so those of you with bigger hands would appreciate that. I though will likely write with this pen unposted. So that's what it looks like unposted. And to me, that's just the most comfortable way to use fountain pens. That's just me though. Unless it's like a Kaveco Sport, I would totally post that. I mean, cause you don't post a Kaveco Sport. It's like tiny. It does have a stainless steel number six nib. It has a big nib on it. And this one looks to be, this is a medium nib. So we'll see how the medium nib writes. But overall, I mean, it's a good looking pen, but of course the ultimate test will be to see how it writes.
much for joining me for this look at the Tianzi T01 in dark navy blue. It is a beautiful pen and it actually writes pretty good. I do love that it's a piston filler. Some people don't like piston filling systems that much because it is, you know, it, it takes a while to get through your pen, which is good, especially if you have long writing sessions or if you're a student, you kind of need a pen with a lot of ink. But if you're a person that likes to rotate through their pens pretty fast, then well, don't fill it all the way up. So there you go. <laughs> but what I like about this pen is that it does write well. The medium nib writes great, but I like the price. And the price is $40. I love it when, you know, there's a pen that comes along and it's not super expensive. It's a piston filling system and it's a good writer. So this to me, I mean, for $40, it's a really good looking pen. It's beautiful. And, it, and like I said before, they do have other colors. So if this is a pen you're interested in, be sure to visit their store on Etsy. It's under Mystery House Crafts. I will be sure to put that address in the description below. So be sure to check them out over on Etsy and let's see how, you know, let's see how their business does. Give them a little love. <laughs> well, that's all I have to say about this pen. And that's how the ink flows.